In my thesis work, I will delve into two linguistic and mutually interconnected phenomena, which are named translanguaging and code switching. The reason for choosing this topic lies in my desire to celebrate language as an idea, an entity, a means of expression devoid of any kind of barrier, and as a language in constant metamorphosis, the result, of course, of cultural, historical, sociopolitical and psychological factors. Indeed, translanguaging and code switching enhance the dynamism, elasticity and freedom of language, presenting it as a dynamic flow, an unstoppable process that will continue to change until communication exists. Hence, in fact, the choice of the title for my research paper, Language in Motion, is related. Both phenomena encapsulate characters and modes of use of great interest to all speakers, especially bilingual and multilingual speakers, that is, speakers who respectively possess in their linguistic repertoire 1L1 and 1L2 or more languages. Translanguaging and code switching are, in fact, practices that rely on the switching that these speakers do from one language or code to another within the same speech event or even within the same sentence. There is thus this natural and conscious alternation of words belonging to different languages. However, these two approaches to language are not only concerned with languages ideally separated by state-state borders, but also involve minor language varieties, such as dialects. The substantial difference between the two practices is that translanguaging foregrounds an individual's total repertoire, i.e. the language varieties and all other modalities and resources available to them, with the goal of getting them to express themselves in the best way possible. In contrast, code switching examines the strategies that multilingual speakers use to switch from one language to another during interaction. As such, it highlights the differentiation between languages and the speaker switching from one to the other. Consequently, code switching is a language-oriented theory, while translanguaging is a user-oriented theory. Code switching refers to a very broad social linguistic perspective, as it favours the use of different dialects, accents, language combinations and mannerisms within social groups to project a particular identity. This phenomenon changes one's language style according to the interlocutor, the topic being discussed and the place one is in, and occurs in social groups mainly according to age, social class, geographical location, education and ethnicity. All these characteristics thus play a crucial role in how and when people change codes. Regarding the term translanguaging, we know that in the last two decades it has taken on new meanings in the field of applied linguistics, referring precisely to the dynamic use of all the linguistic resources of a bilingual or multilingual speaker or learner. Initially, however, it was born to refer to what has always been considered a pedagogical and didactic practice, adopted mainly in school settings during classes as it helps the child in the development of the weaker language and facilitates homeschool cooperation as well as integration. The goal of translanguaging used as a teaching approach is to announce the uniqueness of each student's cultural identity. Both languages available to the students are used in a dynamic and functionally integrated manner to improve mental processes related to comprehension, oral production, writing, reading and learning. Of great importance is to point out that this practice, in addition to the school context, can also prove to be a useful tool in migration context with adult learners, such as asylum seekers, refugees and shut-ins. Language has a key role to play, namely establishing intercultural dialogue to achieve social cohesion. In migration context, language constitutes a symbol of ethnic identity and the mother tongue considered a pillar for every speaker as a surprising constitutive force being densely intertwined with aspects of the, of the psychic worlds of every human being. Translanguaging therefore reconceptualizes language as a multilingual, multisemiotic, multisensory and multimodal resource for the creation of meaning and significance and allows us to explore the human mind as a holistic multicompetence. I would like to end this overview of my thesis work by remembering that these two practices are very important resources that, that in their own small way, mark the turning point towards freedom of expression and openness to new worlds. Translanguaging and code switching are practices that combat prejudice and social differences using words and mechanisms belonging to other people and other realities. It is intended to exalt the person capable of expressing and communicating his or her thoughts and knowledge in a completely free and open way, without having to forcibly cope with established rules or labels. Language is gradually reaching new frontiers, 
assisted by an increasingly connected world where communication is fundamental and integral part of evolution and of the present in which we live today.